All right, finally, we have received One UI 3.0 stable version for Note 10 Plus, and the device I have here is Exynos variant. We have been hearing about Note 10 Plus getting the stable version in the US and Germany and some other regions, and I have been waiting for this update, and here it is. Finally, I have received it. Since I've been testing beta, I've got an update of 303.66 MB. If you were not a part of the beta program, you would be getting a huge size of about 2 plus GB of update. As you can see here, it is clearly mentioned it's an official software version. Looks like many of the regions are getting this update ahead of schedule for Note 10 Plus as well as Note 20 Ultra. And moreover, I had received only two betas before receiving this final update. Now let's open Samsung members application. Here also we have got a similar notification which talks about the closing of beta and it also mentions that it is an official software version. All right, so I have already discussed about all the new features and changes on One UI 3.0 and I have already made separate videos for those features. I will be linking it up in the description below. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check them out. I have discussed about animations. I have discussed about keyboard features. I have also discussed about battery performance on beta. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check those videos out. Now, just to brief you about all these changes, we have got loads of visual redesigns here. The notification panel is transparent. We have got devices and media tab on this notification panel now. Sadly, the settings button, power button and search button have moved to the top right corner. I would have preferred them like before, right above the quick toggles. We've got some improvement on the notification display as well. We've got an all new lock screen and the fingerprint animation has been improved a bit. And we also have few widgets available on the lock screen when you touch the clock. Now adding widget on the home screen has become easier. You can just press and hold on the application to find the widgets associated with it and you can easily add them on the home screen. We've got an all new gallery application which emphasizes on one handed usage. We have got all the options right at the bottom which are easily reachable and we also have some added features in the gallery application for image editing etc. The settings menu has been improved. We have got better search results now. We can easily key in the words to search for the desired settings quickly. And there are some changes in digital well-being and parental control as well. There have been some major changes in the device care section, especially when it comes to battery optimization. Now we only have a normal mode where we can enhance the CPU processing capabilities and we have a power saving mode, which can save a lot of battery. And most importantly, the battery stats for screen on time has been changed. Now we can get the exact screen on time since the full charge. And we can also get the information for the last seven days. I wish there was a similar statistic shown for each day here as well. As far as the keyboard is concerned, we have got some enhanced new features. I have made a separate video for that as well, for which I have left the link in the description. Apart from this, there have been many more changes which I have already discussed in some of my other videos and all these videos are in the description. Do go ahead and check it out and let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Now I will go ahead and update the software. I will be testing the battery and performance in the coming days. So stay tuned for the results. And if you're new on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like for the video if you find it useful. I will see you in the next one. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.